Rachel, welcome to my channel. Today I have another plant video for you. I make lots of different kinds of videos on natural living, healthy DIYs, some furniture DIYs, but I make a lot of plant videos. So if you like that, then please do subscribe and stick around because I have um, a room makeover, well, mostly just adding plants to my bedroom finally, and I also have a chair makeover coming up soon. And if you're interested, let me know if you want to see how I move my plants around when I'm going to be decorating for Christmas. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Also, uh, next time I do a house plant repotting video, I'm going to do a Q&A. So leave questions in the comment section below because I do need a few more questions for that. So anyways, let's get to the rest of the video. I got lots of plants for my room makeover thing. It's not really a room makeover but I've been slowly adding things to my bedroom to make it the way I like it. That's how I decorate, I just slowly add things. But I finally decided to get some plants because my husband found a $30 off of a $50 coupon for Lowe's and so I got a lot of Lowe's house plants, ones that are a little bit more expensive so I don't normally go for those quite as often. Um, especially lately because I've been saving up for a few things for my home and so I made it to where I got $50 worth of plants for $20 and one of those things was this big huge piece of lily. It's just amazing. <laughs> and I've been wanting lots of low light plants for my bedroom upstairs. I've been testing out a few plants. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to be keeping all of them but I have an idea. And so I needed low light plants for that room because it only has a small western window and it's a really large room that is a bit cavernous to a degree. Anyways, I got a piece of lily for that because um, piece of lilies are good at filtering the air. So I got this beautiful piece of lily. I don't know if you can see how big it is. So there's the can. So the can is here. And then this is just, yeah, it's gorgeous. I am in love with this plant. It is beautiful. I love how it's upright. It has a lot of peace lilies. They flop over. I don't know. Let's see if it says exactly what kind of spathophyllum. Nope, it just says spathophyllum on here. It doesn't say a specific kind. But this one is more vertically growing instead of flopping over everywhere which is an element that I would really appreciate in that room because I want to have just one big plant instead of a bunch of little plants and of one big plant it's nice to have one that's more vertical so that way it fills up more vertical space because you can always fill out more width wise with smaller plants but vertical wise it's nice to have a big plant. So I got that one for my bedroom and I also I've had my eyes on one of these calatheas. It doesn't say what kind of calathea this is. It has purple leaves on the underside. I know from watching other people's videos that this type of calathea is fairly low maintenance and it's pretty easy to take care of. I did move my green maranta up there because I've just been testing out my grow light up there and seeing how well that calathea works far away so that way I can kind of gauge on other plants. And so I will have two plants I need to water with filtered water up there. So I guess it makes it more worthwhile. But my room is more of a purpley color. It's very, very pale purpley blue. Almost like a purple per periwinkle. I don't know. But I also have lots of white and cream colors in there. And this burgundy purple with the green and this almost silvery green. It's not really silvery, but it looks silvery against the darker green. I think it'll look beautiful up there. And also this piece of lily with the flowers. As long as the flowers can be white, my piece of lily that's in my bathroom upstairs, the flowers are always green. I don't know if that's because of the lighting or what. Okay, so the third plant that I got for my bedroom was this Aglaonema. So this one, I, like, I do use a little bit of pinks in my room as well, but this pink, and it's almost like a creamy color, sort of pink to this with the green. It has lots of texture to it. There's some darker green leaves, 
So when I picked this one out, there were other ones that didn't have as much green on the leaves, but I wanted to get one that has more green. That way, like there's big chunks of green on this leaf. Isn't that just beautiful? So I wanted to do that because this plant is going to be far away from a window. It is going to have a full spectrum grow light, um, a purple grow light. I wanted to pick one that it doesn't matter if it's not getting adequate amounts of light to an extent because it has more green to the leaves so it can make more photos make more photosynthesis that way it can photosynthesize better without having quite as much light to it basically the last plant that i got at lowe's was this ivy it's just a basic ivy it doesn't have any specific kind of a name but i wanted an ivy well my mom convinced me to get this ivy for one, it's ivies are beautiful. I've killed every ivy that I've had so far, but I've kept a few of them alive for quite a while. <laughs> this one though, I'm going to take care of this one like my mom does. My mom is incredible at taking care of ivies. They all just flourish and thrive underneath her care. And so I'm going to take care of this one in a similar way that she does. She keeps hers in areas where they don't get too much direct light. She also doesn't do too much to them as well. Anyways, I'm going to be keeping this one in my bathroom upstairs and I'm actually going to set this in my shower caddy that's hanging on the wall. That way it will get light from a northern window onto it. My shower is also tiled with white tile so that way the light bounces off and it'll have even more light for this and it'll have a little bit more humidity from the shower of course but i think i've been wanting to have a plant in my bathroom in my shower for a long time and i want to try this out also ivy is known for filtering mold so that should help too being in a bathroom my bathroom doesn't get moldy really so but i don't know <laughs> I was also gifted a couple of plants from my mom. She's been rearranging plants in her house and she's decided to get rid of ones that she doesn't love and ones that she doesn't really have room for. So um, one of the things is actually a big huge string of bananas that she just thinks is ugly and she doesn't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to hang it up somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but I have the perfect pot for it. So we'll see where it goes, but that's still at her house. So she also gave me this cool plant. I don't know what it is, but she took out one from right here because this pot is filling up and she actually put um, a tissue box where this one was. She needed a tissue box over there. So she's like, well, I don't need this. I'll get rid of it because she took the one from here and she put it in her kitchen to replace this plant that is, I'm, I'm sure it's a type of Kalanchoe and it's really crazy. I'm going to put it up on a shelf in my husband's workroom and that way it can just get crazy and do whatever it wants but that way you don't see all the kind of more ugliness at the top. So this one was in a eastern window. It's going to stay where it can keep being crazy and doing whatever it is it's doing. <laughs> but this one um, she still has, of course, part of it in her kitchen window, and it looks so much better than... Actually, yeah, this one was in her kitchen window, huh? That's right. She's been moving plants everywhere, so I have to keep track of these things in my brain. But yeah, this one was in her kitchen window, and it does have a little baby sprout in there. But as you can imagine, this coming out towards your kitchen sink isn't exactly what you want. It's like, yeah. <laughs> A creature from the Black Lagoon. If you know what this is, let me know. It's so nifty. I love its growth pattern or growth habit. It's beautiful. It's like has this fan shape. So then the last thing that I got, um, I call him Bobby. If you have a better name for him, let me know. My husband came home. Um, he injured his neck this weekend, but so he went to Walgreens to try to find a neck brace. And um, it said, hi Gunther. Hi Gunther! I know I love you! Ah! I love you! Yes I do! So my husband came home with Bobby. <laughs> so yeah this is what he's supposed to look like. Um yeah. 
I don't ever watch Bob Ross things or anything, but I love Chia Pets. I've always wanted to have one. And so when my husband saw this one, he got it for me. And they said that it can work indefinitely. So I'm going to see how long we can keep this alive. I thought that you always water them just over the top, but he has a hole in his head where I guess you fill up inside of him with water. And then the water is, you know, being terracotta, it's porous and so then the water can go through. I think it'd be really cool to see him actually get aged and see how he ends up turning out and what he looks like with more of an aged look to him since he is terracotta. And you know, terracotta does that. So any hoodly hey, that is the end of my video and all my fabulous plants. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know. And if you have a favorite plant from here, let me know also. And if you have an idea for any other plants that you think I should get for my bedroom, then please do let me know. I have a ZZ plant that I've been babying that used to be in my, uh, bedroom, but I moved him over to my laundry room. So that way I can forget about him a little bit more almost, but also my cat was rubbing against it all the time. And yeah, <laughs> it was not very good for my ZZ plant because he was rotted at the bulb when I bought him. And so I had to remove a lot of the bulbs and I've been able to salvage a few. And so we'd still trucking along barely <laughs> but anyways that is the end of my video and I will talk to you later um probably Saturday I should have my bedroom thing done um I need to get some chalk paint and a lampshade but that's not necessary to my video I just need to get a new lampshade for one of my lamps and I need to paint a lamp actually but I might include that in my video as well because I love the way chalk paint works on lamps and I'm rambling so bye! <laughs>